What's up, math fans? Somebody just gave me half of their dollar, and I'm gonna give half of that to you. So what's half of my half? Half of a half, hopefully you know half of a dollar. 50 cents and half of that 50 cents is 25 cents. Mathematically, here's how it would look. You have a half, the word of means multiply, half of half. What is that? Well, we know the answer is a quarter or 25 cents, but in math, half of half multiply fractions. You do not cross multiply. You multiply straight across. You might want to write that down. If I talk too fast, pause it and rewind. Also, a good tip for this video is when I do the problems, try to do them on your own first. So pause it on your own time. Pause it, do it, and then watch me do it. Uh, you learn better like that. If you just watch me, it looks easy. It's not. All right, so half of half is one times one. I'm going to multiply the numerators. I get one, two times two. I multiply the denominators. I get four. So there's proof that half of a half is a fourth or a quarter, okay? If you want visual proof, kind of like a pizza. Somebody gave me half a pizza, so I have this much, this part of it, the right side, and then I give you half of my half, so you get that much. But if I had equal slices, you can see that that's a quarter of the whole pizza. All right, so the rule is when you're multiplying fractions, multiplying algebraic fractions, any kind of fractions, you multiply straight across, all right? But algebraic fractions is a little more difficult because there's letters and variables and, and expressions that you are going to need to factor. So before you even go through this video, please make sure you're comfortable with these four videos that you've seen already or you've learned already, but you gotta be comfortable with them. If you're not, go back and do them again, all right? Um, in my algebra, um, folder, I, I did a folder for algebra, factoring by finding the GCF. That's huge. You have to be comfortable with finding a greatest common factor. Also, factoring a difference of two squares. That's important. Um, that'll come up today. Factoring quadratics when C is negative. That's another video. This is a quadratic, A squared plus BX plus C. You should have seen it somewhere in your mathematical career. You've seen it when they're both positive here, two positive signs, two negative signs, one plus, one minus. So I make it, it gets mixed up, but I only, I only did one video when C is negative, but the concept is the same. I call it the sum product method. So be comfortable with those three videos. And also um, the, the step right before today's video is how to simplify fractions uh, with quadratics. So basically it's this thing, but over another thing. So a fraction is numerator and denominator. So you gotta know how to factor before you can simplify. And in this video, I basically tell you, factor first, then cancel common factors. So here, um, well, what did I just say? Multiply top times top, bottom times bottom. So let's get started. Here's a clue. This isn't even a fraction. So you're already frustrated? No, you just make it a fraction. Any whole number you know can be put over one. So I put that over one and I multiply straight across. I don't have a calculator to figure out 36 times five. The point is I wanna factor and cancel to make things simpler. So I wouldn't need a calculator, all right? So it's, what I'm gonna do is factor that 36. And I'm thinking in my head factor tree of 36. It's either six times six or nine times four. I'm gonna go with nine times four. So 36 is really nine times four over one times the five over nine. The reason I use nine times four is because I looked ahead and I knew I needed a common factor, a GCF, greatest common factor. What goes into both nine and 36? Nine. So I knew I should use the nine here. Nines cancel out, that's called cross canceling. And then I just multiply whatever's left. Four times five is 20. A one times, when I, something cancels, it's replaced by a one. Nine goes into itself once. Nine goes into 36 four times, that's why that four is still there and four times five is 20. One times one is still one, only rookies write the one underneath, leave it, so your answer is 20, the end, okay? Next, same thing, I wanna start canceling, but you don't cancel until you have factored. You can't cancel until you have common factors. So, let me factor the top. Again, it's calling for GCF. Is there a GCF here, three and nine? Absolutely, it's three. And then, we got a plus three inside, over, you can write 15a, I'm gonna factor the 15. I'm gonna write 15 as um, three times five. And then times eight also. A to the third, uh, you could call it factoring. I'm gonna expand it. A to the third really just means a times a times a. And then 18, whether you factor it or not, won't matter in this particular question, but just to be safe, I'm gonna write it as either nine times two or six times three. I'm going with six times three 
because I see three, so I might need it, I'm not sure. So now I can start cross canceling or cancel top and bottom. Three and three will cancel. A and A will cross cancel. Um, nothing else cancels. So whatever's left is what you write. So I got A times A times that. So that's A squared times A plus three over five times six is 30 times three is 90. And that's as simple as I think I can make it. All right, so I'm done. Now we get a little more tricky. Again, do not start canceling. Let's look at this thing alone. It looks overwhelming because there's one, two, three, four separate terms or expressions, but um, just look at it one at a time. So look at the first numerator and hopefully if you're good with these, you recognize it's dots. It's a difference of two squares. And I know y times y is y squared. And then I'm gonna need a nine and a nine, plus nine minus nine. Here, there's nothing to factor. It's already in factored form. People get frustrated because they're like, oh my God, I've never seen that before. Yes, you have. What does this mean? It means this base shows up twice. So just expand it. It means y plus nine times y plus nine. That's not even math, that's just expanding. Times, look at this thing, GCF. Uh, what goes into both? 10. 10 goes outside. Y plus 9 will go inside. Y plus 9 will go inside. 5Y minus 45, another call for a GCF. 5 goes outside, and then Y minus 9 goes inside. And then the fun can begin. Um, I see a Y plus 9 over a Y plus 9, goodbye. Y minus 9, Y minus 9, goodbye. Y plus 9, Y plus 9, goodbye. So I'm cross canceling and I'm canceling top and bottom. And what's left? 10 over 5. I can even rewrite the 10 as 5 times 2, and then the 5s cancel, but you already know that 10 over 5 is 2, so your final answer is 2. So something that looks so crazy like this simplifies to being 2. And then in class, we did a question where I said, Look at this crazy thing. What if y was 5012? What would this thing equal? So people started plugging in 5012 and figuring it out. No need. Simplify. And the answer is two. Doesn't matter what y is. Okay? Last one. Try it on your own. Now check what I do. Here is an example of a quadratic. C is not negative. I try to make it easier. C is positive. So this is really easy. This is what I call the sum product method. Here's my sum. Here's my product. Think of two numbers whose sum is seven and product is ten. That's x plus five times x plus two. Okay? Uh, because 5 times 2 is 10 and 5 plus 2 is 7. This thing, another dots, another difference of two squares. That's x plus 5 and x minus 5. Top, here's an example of finding a GCF. Again, you better be a master at this at the end. 3 goes out, x minus mm, 3 times what is 15? 5. x minus 5 goes here. And I'll leave the 6 or I'll write the 6 as 3 times 2. Okay? You can leave it as six or you can factor it out as three times two and you'll see again why it's easier to factor. So now can I cross anything? Yes, goodbye. X plus five is common factor. X minus five is common factor. Oh, threes cancel. Good thing I factored the six. So whatever's left on top, whatever's left on the bottom, you write it on top and bottom. So um, my final answer, hopefully you can see this, is X plus two over two. This over this. Some people who do all this work and then they multiply. You don't multiply. If one is on top and one is on the bottom, leave it like that. All right? So here's my final answer. Um, and I explain in another video why you do not cross out the twos here. All right? Thanks for watching. See ya.